cross. That's right. When are we going to see that he nailed it to the cross? And when depression comes in your family life, and because you are a child of God, you stand up and you reverse that curse. That spirit of depression, you will not linger in my bloodline anymore. I curse you from the root. Be plucked up. Take authority. God is waiting on you to open your mouth and take authority over the word of God. Healing is what we should be walking in every single day. Even when we're coughing, even when the doctor come and tell you something. You know, my doctor told me, I, you know, because everything that happened to me is on the ear. There's no secret about me. My life is way open. And so when she said to me, oh yeah, you have high cholesterol, I'm thinking, when did you ever tell me I have high cholesterol? <laughs> I wasn't going to the doctors for years. And my husband said, this is a good doctor, go, okay, you're just gonna confirm what I've been believing. So then when she says my cholesterol was high, I'm thinking, okay, what I'm gonna do? So I took the necessary, not their medicine, because I'm not gonna have Mr. A Alzheimer's. He ain't coming to my house. Amen? So I decided to take this natural medicine. And and then I, so I said to the doctor, and she looked at me. I said, let me tell you something, doc. I ain't taking that medicine. Whatever you're getting ready to prescribe, I ain't doing it. And she said, no, you're not. She's so so. I said, no, you can forget it. I'm not doing it. But I will come back, and my reading will change. And so I did. I used the word. I take communion every single night before I go to bed. The last thing my husband and myself do is take communion. Why? Healing is working in me. By those stripes, Jesus, I need to get that picture. I am healed. Well, how long? Until that healing manifests itself. It's working in me. Three weeks later, I went back and... And of course, she sent me back to get my test, and she says, wow, what are you doing? Yeah. Hmm. You got time to out. Because <laughs> I know you got a lot of patients out there. And so the level goes down. But I'm not stupid either. I can't go back eating the stuff or doing the things that will cause it to continue to be on a high. That's right. Don't let the enemy feed you lies. Recognize. That's why you're here on Earth. Welcome to planet Earth. Recognize and overcome. Recognize what is of the enemy. Recognize the lie of the enemy and overcome it. Because one of your names is you are an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And you walk in healing every single day of your life. You walk in healing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how you feel. Doesn't matter how you're looking, healing is mine. You're sitting in that office and you're waiting or whatever treatment you're getting, see yourself healed. You got a picture today. See yourself healed. Where are the places we use often? The bathroom and the kitchen. You gotta have healing scriptures that you're looking at, putting it up, on that glass, reading that. The enemy say, well, that's not working for you. Say, it is working. I don't have to see. I know it's working. Mm -hmm. Protection. That's what we need today. I hope you got a good lesson today. That you won't forget who you are. Then you don't have to fear Ebola. When Ebola ever hit here, and I pray you don't, but you know, you know that you have protection because the word of God says so. Amen. Amen. I enjoy you all coming up today. And I'm so thankful because